the major concern within Salt and Stone Columns is truly the earthquake fault lines that we have here in Salt Lake City. And the fact that here being in the low-lying area, we are on the old lake bed that is not made of competent rock from the mountains. So the reason for the stone column installation is to prevent that liquefaction from coming in and making sure that the airport doesn't get damaged through any seismic events. There's roughly 7,800 stone columns on this phase of the project, varying from 41 to 29 feet deep. And what we do is we pre-drill uh, the locations of each column. And then the device you see behind me has a vibro on the end of it with a dry feed tube. They start up that vibro and they'll, they'll vibrate down until they get to the dense sand layer that they need to be to for competent surface. And then they'll start to deposit stone into the void that's left from the vibro. And then they'll slowly bring that up and down, consolidating the stone into a column and displacing all the mud that was there, which then leaves us a competent column down to a suitable subsurface. We have four crews that are installing stone columns on both the Terminal and South Concourse West. The crew consists of one crane operator which installs stone columns, a loader operator that continues to clear out the mud and muck that's generated from the stone column install and provide stone back to, uh, to the machine. And then it also involves two inspectors. Yeah, it, it makes me feel amazing to know that I'm going to be part of such a program that's going to make safe passage for all the comers to Salt Lake City and to Utah. Uh, it's becoming a huge travel destination and to know that they're going to come into a top class facility that's constructed with the quality and safety that, that it takes to make sure everybody comes through, it's a big part of my day and it's what keeps me coming back.